getting cold out here and windy. First I got a lighter jacket and then when I check the weather, they're 12 degrees and do the wind it feels like 9. So yeah, um, what I want to do today, I want to go check on my onions. So um, I want to look at my last tomatoes but first I want to see how many uh, onions I have, green onions that is and to see what kind of operation to get set up for. So let's go have a look. This year I wasn't at the square. They are really looking for places to hide their nuts. Yesterday I only managed to clean this one up and to get all my stuff from the raised beds. And now I remember about the onions. I have a whole bunch in here. They are still standing, so the rule of the onions is that if they're still standing, uh, that means you're not harvesting the onion yet. But what I do want to harvest is the some tops. I just learned from someone, oh, I forgot the name that if you cut the tops it encourages the onions to grow bigger and what also encourages them to grow bigger is to ring around them like that but this year I haven't had time to focus on this bed at all I was too busy so I'll just pick what I can pick. Now I'm gonna go check the last tomatoes that I have to pick. I still have a whole bunch of green tomatoes. Tomatoes grow better in an area where they haven't been grown before. It's kind of, it's called like the virgin soil and that's what I had in here. So I had a ton of tomatoes in here. Even better than in the raised beds. Which I have to change the soil. Pretty dahlias. I'm going to get a bowl and I'm going to harvest those tomatoes and the green onions. So I'm going along and I'm cutting all the onions about this much so they still can uh, photosynthesize but um, uh, they um, grow from there no problem. And I collected those and then I am going to freeze them. Some of them, I'll see how many I get and how I'm gonna preserve. I finished picking the green onions. I'm probably gonna make some onion pesto. That will be my method of putting them in the freezer. And now I'm onto the tomatoes. These are the last ones. So the ones that are a tiny bit red, if I leave them on the counter, they will still ripen because tomatoes ripen after they've been picked. But the ones that are green, I'm just going to make like a relish of them uh, and maybe pickle some. I will see. 